community is still mourning and preparing to pay their respects to those victims of the mass shooting. Just a short while ago, our Andres Gutierrez spoke with MSU Interim President Teresa Woodruff about how the campus community is handled. He joins us now live with that part of our coverage. Andres. Well, Terrence, the central theme of our conversation was the unity and resiliency among the Spartan community. Just last night, she ended up joining the students that were preparing the luminaries that will be lit tonight. She described that act as very cathartic. We asked her what it's been like shepherding this community over the last year. Here's what she told us. You know, the people have lifted me up as much as I've lifted them up. And what I see in uh, Spartans is that everyone comes together as a family uh, in times of, um, of great success as well as uh, great tragedy. And uh, it is the character of resilience. It's the character of love and giving back uh, to each other and to the community, even as we were the recipients of that love from the outside uh, over the last year. And um, so it's, it really is a, a time to mark the excellence of this uh, institution, uh, even as we continue to grieve together. How have you been able to try and restore that sense of security for the kids on campus who may now be watching over their shoulder in fear, perhaps? You know, we've, we pride ourselves in having a campus that is safe, welcoming, and warm to everyone. And uh, that was shaken by uh, those events. And so uh, putting into place um, information that folks can use, being transparent about the kinds of uh, changes that we're making to the physical infrastructure with locks on doors and cameras across campus with a new 24-7 uh, security office, uh, safety uh, office. Um, all of that has been meaningful to everyone's sense of security. And we continue to make um, meaningful changes uh, across the physical infrastructure even as we continue to support people's mental health and the way in which they inhabit this physical space of uh, the East Lansing campus of Michigan State. If you had to classify any shortcomings in trying to get the security up to speed here on campus, would you, what would be some of those shortcomings? Michigan State University is a great public institution, and as such, we are open to the public. We are a public space, and we are welcoming to the events and the people of not just East Lansing, but really of the state of Michigan. So making sure we're balancing, allowing for that um, that public to be part of this great institution's um, buildings and spaces and programs and opportunities uh, is part of the dynamic that we've been working through. And it is a balance um, that we continue to manage. Uh, and we learn from what we've done. We make sure we have as many voices as possible in some of the decisional processes. But in the end, we try to uh, navigate this towards as many people can use in an optimized way as possible a campus that is safe and secure for all. And now in just a few weeks on March 4th, she will pass on the baton to the new president, Kevin Guskowitz, who himself had to help students heal when there was a fatal shooting on the campus of UNC Chapel Hill over the summer. Reporting live in East Lansing tonight, Andres Gutierrez, CBS News, Detroit. Thank you, Andres.